it's extremely hard to say goodbye to a friend, especially a good friend. Um, I gathered my thoughts after uh, yesterday's video. I appreciate all the kind words. And I did speak to Cassandra, uh, Bobby's wife. And I told her what the YouTube community is doing. And uh, for the most part, all the kind words that they're saying about her husband. I'm only going to say this one time, all that negative stuff, you ought to be ashamed of yourself and you are no longer welcome on my channel. Ever. It's unforgivable. And to me personally, I've said it, you should be ignored by everybody. Period. End of story. I know I'm, for those who have seen me throughout the years, I get really emotional when it comes to my friends. I've had to say goodbye as far as YouTube goes to two really close friends, Preston and now eight camel toes, Bobby, and almost thought we were going to lose our good friend, BBD Keith. I don't take friendships lightly. And all three of them, ironically, that I've met multiple times, BBD and Preston and uh, Bobby, when I was up there in 2015 for five days, we did a lot of stuff together, his restaurant, his friends, watched football, drove in my car, drove the mountain. A lot of good memories. Uh, I don't know how any of y'all are gonna remember uh, Bobby. You know, everybody grieves in their own but I know how I'm going to remember him. I'm going to remember him as the funny, caring uh, person that he was. Now, he, we all have said some things on here that, you know, obviously, I would say the majority of it was just for entertainment purpose, but maybe some of it was real. The one thing that uh, Bobby was, was a loyal friend to you. He'll trash you. God knows he trashed me a lot. He did a video, what, a couple weeks ago, just like a nine-minute video. Go watch it where he was saying, dude, are you retarded? Because I would, you know, do the life off of YouTube thing. And uh, I thought it was hilarious. We talked. He thought it was hilarious. And we've done some good videos and streams together. He's been on my panel and... Whenever you got camel toes on your live stream, especially during the day, it was not it was not often that that happened. He would normally do it when I'm doing a Braves or something and whatnot. He would come in and hey, what's up? You'll type in the chat, what's up, Slits? I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna miss so much about him. It's not even funny. I can't. It's kind of hard to put into words. I mean, I have more words to say now than I did yesterday because I was just a blubbering mess. And I know I'll have more words later. And there are people out there who say that I talk too much. Well, I don't care what you think. It's my channel. It's my life. And I'm going to keep doing it the way that I do it. If you don't like it, tough. Nobody's going to tell me how to grieve. Nobody's going to tell me how to, how to do my stuff. Especially when it comes to talking about a good friend. A lot of people like to have a lot of you know, opinions on it who never met the people that I talk about. And you think that your opinion is going to overtake mine. Absolutely not. I'm the one that drove up to North Carolina in Wilkesboro along that Highway 4, I think it is. His restaurant up the hill. His house. Talked to him. Hung out with him. One of few people have actually done that. I'm not going to apologize for how I feel about my, 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 about my friend. It hurts. It hurts a lot. This is the worst one yet. You know, I'm sad on many levels. But I'm really sad that Bobby didn't get a chance to meet up with, you know, Simus and Duke Bothers and Mosh. Because he really wanted to go. He really wanted to go to that Cowboys game. Because he felt... 
no matter his mental status or his emotional thoughts, he always enjoyed hanging around his friends. And I know hanging around Duke, Duke, my man, he loved you, man. He really was looking forward to going to that game. And I knew you guys would take care of him, even if he couldn't raise the money himself. I knew y'all would do it. I'm disappointed that he's not going to get that chance. Selfishly, I was looking forward to meeting up with him again this year in Carolina for the Falcons-Panthers game. We had already talked. I was going to get his ticket. I was going to pick him up. I was going to hang out with his wife again, just have a good time with my friend. And I'm sad that I'm not going to be able to do that. But I am going to do some things for him in his memory. As everybody knows, for Preston, I had this Falcons chain that he gave me at the one Falcons game a couple years back. I cherish that. Got some stuff from BBD, obviously. I'm going to get a Carolina Panther mini helmet uh, soon, and I'm going to put it in my videos. I'm going to keep it there. I'm also changing my background for I don't know how long. Just going to keep it there with a still picture of myself and him. And one of our funniest moments where we're smiling, where he's smiling. You check the image, same thing. I'm also going to, at least for the time being, I'm not going to put a timetable on it. I'm not even going to, I, I, I'm, I'm going to put his cash app or his PayPal, whatever one I, I get under every stream that I get. And all donations will go directly to his family. I'll do my part as well. But this is something that really hurts. This is the worst of the worst to this point uh, that Bobby has left us. I'm glad he's not suffering whatever he was going through. I'm not going to claim that he was always the kindest person on here. He said a lot of things, but we all said some things. But he didn't. He doesn't deserve to be ridiculed like some people are. He deserves to be praised, and I really appreciate all the kind words and the videos that I've seen. I've seen Duke Bothers. I've seen uh, D-Town. I'm sure I'll see a lot more. Bobby was a friend. He was a great person. And I'm glad that a lot of other different communities were able to experience what he was about. I mean, yes, he was a sports person originally, but branched himself to his music channel. Bobby loved his music. I, there were times I loved going in there, just listening to him play guitar and singing at his high pitches and whatever, and always music requests and what a day for a wad fad and what's up guys it's a cold open and all that stuff i'm sad i'm not going to uh, be able to see that anymore but i'm glad that he branched himself out so a lot of you guys whether i watch you guys or girls or not were able to experience what what bobby was what we all saw for years very kind-hearted individual i just wish that he could have got himself right and spent more time with his family and us, selfishly. But I will see you again, my friend. Don't know when, I don't know, but uh, uh, I'm gonna have a lot more for Bobby as the weeks go. Whenever I feel like doing something, I'm just gonna do it. But uh, love you, man, and gonna miss you, a lot of us are. All the kind words that are being said about you are well-deserved. I hope the Braves win the World Series this year for you. I hope the Carolina Panthers do well for you. May God watch over Cassandra and your kids. And may he watch over you. I love you. Bobby Lambert, my friend. It's not going to be the same without you. Not at all. I hope you know how much you were loved. Because you showed your love for us. The millions and millions and millions of streams and YouTubers on YouTube. And you chose to come to this one. And that really means a lot. Rest in peace, my friend.